Do you run an online store or a website? Would you like to do SEO on your own? Although it's feasible, it's not a piece of cake. The process involves constant monitoring of trends, behavior of your customers and many other factors that affect SEO. Although it's best to hire specialists, it's not the most lucrative option if you want to save money. Website audit, analysis of its content, history and link profile can cost an arm and a leg. So can you do this on your own? Saturate your website with words and phrases potential customers may use when looking for products in your offer. When adding keywords to your content, keep in mind that you may not always be able to guess what users type into Google. Although you're also an internet user, don't take your intuition for granted. Analyze keywords by monitoring your market rivals. There are many free online tools that makes the task easier. Check your competitors' keywords and use tools to convert them into new, unique phrases that will surely attract customers. The more regularly you fill your website with new content, the better. Run a company blog. Be creative and show people that you're an expert in the field. There are many benefits from similar activities. Your brand becomes more credible when you show off your experience. Potential customers can build relationships with your company by asking questions and commenting on new content and you support the SEO process. If you have a hard time finding topics you could write about, use the free SEO tool Answer the Public that lists questions entered by users into the search box. You can answer them on your website to generate traffic. Website structures means page performance and content. When talking about it, we mean internal linking, optimization of text, graphic elements and page code. As far as content is concerned, it's best to publish texts that are understandable and transparent for users. Make sure that they are substantial and contain important keywords. Divide each text into paragraphs and aptly relevant headers. H1 – the title with the keyword, H2 – subheaders and H3 – for example, links in the footer. Create proper categories, so if your store offers t-shirts and printed t-shirts, divide them into two separate categories, thanks to which others will be able to easily find what they're looking for. When applying graphics, remember about the so-called alt attributes. Without it, Google robots won't be able to analyze elements in the pictures. Describe what is in the image and use a keyword that best defines the page you're creating. Think about internal linking. Analyze users' activities and create a link profile that will keep people on your website for longer. Thanks to it, potential buyers might decide to finalize transactions. Although we've mentioned blogging earlier, it's not the only activity you can focus on when working on increasing your online reach. Create a YouTube channel and record videos, set up business profiles on social media platforms such as Facebook or Twitter. The sky is the limit. Take advantage of the potential offered by the aforementioned solution and combine them with your business strategy. After all, is there anyone who doesn't use social media?